can look back to his magazine. And we're back here together to do a look at the body. And this one is a direct message for my divine masculine. Okay, I did one for my divine feminines yesterday. If you want to go check out that video, please do by all means. Um, we are, again, this is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. Um, but if it does resonate with you, please go ahead and hit the like button, um, the share button, subscribe, and hit that bell next to the, the subscribe, subscribe button so that you can get notifications for the next video. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a pile. Okay, there's my amethyst, my labradorite, and my pink opal. Okay. Go ahead and take a moment to pick from the pile. Pick which one you believe. Uh, which, which, whichever one um, you know just jumps out in you or you have the energy. Uh, pick your curiosity or maybe your favorite color is pink, purple, or green. You might like one crystal over the other. You know, I gotta get my palace on though. Oh, I really like snowflakes. <laughs> Smells so good to me. Okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started with the reading. Okay, again, this is a the reading for the Divine Masculine. Um, yeah, this is a reading for the Divine Masculine. Direct message. Um, understand that Divine Masculine is an energy right so you know it is just the energy that you carry so if it resonates for you thank you all right wonderful go ahead and you know, enjoy let's go and get started we're going to start with the amethyst um each card does have um, a chakra card underneath because i just feel as though that's very helpful it's helpful to me <laughs> all right so we have the empress um, the Eight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, right? And the chakra card we have is the Sixth Chakra, the Third third Eye Chakra. Now, the Empress, hey, Divine Masculine, we have babies on the way. Be careful, you could get someone pregnant, right? Because the Empress does represent fertility. It, you know, it's a big, big impression when it comes to a big uh, representation of fertility. Um, it also could be you coming to some type of abundance because she does represent abundance as well. Or maybe you're um you're you're working on being grounded. You're working on being grounded. You could be ground working on being grounded. Um, because she represents nature. Maybe you're a person that's you know, out there in nature. But definitely be careful because that's big um fertility energy with that empress. Okay. All right, now the um Eight of Wands representing you walking away from something. Now, I don't know what that could be, but you're definitely um, thinking about walking away from someone, maybe. Maybe it's this Empress. Maybe the Empress is somebody that you're walking away from. Uh, you no longer want to deal with that person. Uh, but I do show that you are trying to get over something. And at this point, you're just like, I got to move on. Okay. That's the, the um, energy from that Eight of Wands. Now with the um the six of pentacles, with the six of pentacles, as you can see, there's two different pictures going on here, right? So you can either be the person that's giving, or you may be in the position where you're receiving, right? So if you're the person that's giving, then um that's great. You know, continue to do just that, you know, continue on with that generosity. But if you're the person that's receiving, be be thankful, right? Be thankful for the generosity that someone else is actually showing to you. If you are receiving, you know, be a, be appreciative. Um, don't just um, don't just take. You know, don't just take. If that's the position that you're in, where you where you're in need, don't just take. That, that's just keep coming to me. Okay, don't don't leech. Don't um become someone's burden you know what i mean like be appreciative and i hope if you are receiving a, some type of help that it is going to 
I'm help you get to your next level, right? Or if you're the person that's giving, you're going to help somebody else get to the next level. You're, you're being generous and helping somebody else. Now, what are you walking away from? I don't know. Like, are you walking away from this empress? Are you walking away from someone that could be the mother of your child? Are you tired of it? You're not, you don't want to deal with it? You know, um, if that's the case, come on now, get together. Get it together. And empress also represents growth. You could be um, trying to grow, and you trying to grow has you walking away from some situations that no longer serve you. It's cool. Just play around with that. It's wonderful, you know, because maybe you want to get to a position where you're a, a lender and not a borrower. You know what I mean? So, yeah, this, this right here is just, you know, overall energy just tells me to, just tells me that, um, if you're walking away from from um, the um, or maybe you're um, walking away so that you can so you can receive your abundance so that you can become more of a of a of a lender um, you are a better steward um, yeah this is the energy that I get there but you know again that that empress fertility so be careful if you want to have a baby wonderful if you don't then don't because obviously you're in a point where you want to walk away so maybe a baby is not what you need but if it is if you are having a baby you got to be responsible okay um now you're again you have the sixth chakra it is the third eye chakra and it says imagination i use my imagination as i create and pursue my dreams and wishes I ask myself, what do I want? My thoughts create my reality at the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels. I use this power to create harmonious relationships between all these levels. I imagine the life I would like to have, and I encourage my thoughts to be truthful, wise, and discerning. In the quietness of meditation, I see and hear the truth. Okay. So that is my first power. It's my amethyst. Um, my second pile, my labradorite, and my labradorite choosers. Go ahead and take a look. I have you with the third chakra, solar plexus, the nine of pentacles, temperance, and justice card. All right, so look at this card. Are you in some type of karmic justice? Are you going through some type of some type of karmic justice right now? Are you receiving something that you put out into the world and it's now coming back to you? or um legal trouble okay this could be legal trouble or maybe we're coming out of some type of legal trouble here with that um justice card now you come in um in, into the temperance which is finding balance so um maybe you're getting out of some legal trouble maybe you're um yeah, maybe you're coming out of some legal trouble. Maybe you're getting out of some legal things and now you're trying to find some balance, some a middle passage, some you know, something that keeps the, the peace and the harmony at a balance, right? Because that's what that temperance represents. You're trying to find harmony, you're trying to find that balance. And um with that nine of pentacles, it shows that you're making pretty good decisions with your money. This is the look of a woman that's um this is the look of a woman that's pretty confident and, and she got like a little I always say she got like a little peace a look of peace on her face because she's not worried about anything she's she, you know she got that bird she got her money around her she's not looking at that money she because she knows it's there she got a hand on it <laughs> she has her hand on it but like I said she knows it's there right so you're, you're obviously doing very well with your um your finances or you're making uh, wonderful decisions at this moment right so keep that up um with your third chakra it is the solar plexus. It says oneness and unity. Okay. I accept the oneness of, of, all, of all life. And I know I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others. And I choose to see the love in all around me. I see everything as a part of my own life. And I accept others for who they are. I found common ground with others rather than 
differences as they bring harmony into my life and into theirs, right? That's that's the, that temperance, you know, that that finding that balance, finding that that common ground, that middle passage, right? You know, like these chakra cards are always like spot on when it comes to the reading. But that overall energy coming out of some type of karmic justice um, into um, balancing out your life, balancing out things in your life to give you that that harmony and that peace. And you're just, you know, doing pretty good with your finances. You're, you're making, you know, sound financial decisions. You seem to be in a pretty good place right now on um, power number two. And that's great. Okay. Now that was um, the lavender, right? My lavender, right, pal? We're going to go ahead and get the pink opal. so much great painting sorry about that all right so yeah we have our um pink opal as our third pile for the ones that i picked up let's go ahead and get started all right so we have you down as the, the fourth chakra which is the heart chakra we have the chariot we have the um seven of pentacles and the two of swords all right so just outright um, with the two of swords off rip i see that you're in a stagnant position where you need to make a strong decision and whatever this decision is it is going to get you to the next level okay when you see that two of swords that means that a decision has to be made because you're stagnant you're you're in a stalemate you know um something's not moving here you're kind of sitting there like dang what, what do i do next and then you're you have your you, you're working you're working because the seven of um, pentacles represents working and watching your money grow right working and, and being able to see your money grow so you're working and you're, you're doing your best to watch your money grow but you got to take control right you got to grab the reins because the cherry represents direction it represents taking um it represents taking control of your situation and, and, and what you have going on right so you have to take control. That's why there's this two of swords. Two of swords. It, it says that you're stagnant. It says that right now, you need um, you need to make a decision. You know, a critical decision. I'm not sure what that particular decision is, but you, that's what the two of swords um, represents. Decision making, like a critical decision making, because um, it is hindering you. It is hindering you from moving on to the next level or it's blocking whatever blessings or, or opportunities that should be coming your way is being blocked because you're not making a decision. You, you're deciding to just sit there. It's not going to come to you. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to make a decision because you don't want to just keep watching your money. You want to be like the nine of pentacles from the, the second pile. You want to touch your money. You want to put your hand on your money while looking at the bird. Not, you know, real, knowing that, hey, my money's right here. I don't have a problem, right? So, yeah. With the cherry, you have to take control. Like his face, he... He's not worried about nothing. He's not worried about anything. He had those two sphinx down there. He's not worried about anything. He's, he's in control. So when you see the chariot in your reading, that means that you need to take control. You have to borrow from that energy of the chariot and, and take control of your situation. Take control, make that necessary um, that necessary decision to move to the next step. So no, you're no longer watching your money grow. You feel, you, you know it's there. 
You know it's there. You know it's there, right? Cause um, yeah, you know it's there. You you working hard for it, and maybe you working hard. Maybe you're paycheck to paycheck, right? Maybe that's why you're looking at it. Maybe you're a person that's paycheck to paycheck. But you have to keep really keep your eyes on it. <laughs> really focus on that on that money to make sure that you know you're you're getting from point A to point B, or you're paying the necessary bills. But it's something that you need to do in order to. Um, in order to um, stop that, right? You have to make that necessary decision. You have to take control. Um, now, your your chakra card is the fourth chakra. It's the heart chakra. It says compassion and forgiveness. I have compassion for myself and for those around me. I let go of anger, resentment, and torments from the past, and I do not give my power away to those involved. Forgiveness is a gift I give to myself. I forgive myself for things I feel I could have done differently in the past, and I remind myself that my response could not have been any more evolved than it was at that time. I am compassionate to those in need, as this shows them that they are not alone. I practice this by listening, sharing, understanding, and being of service. So when I'm reading this, right, it kind of puts me in the mind of this two of swords. Maybe you're being unforgiving. Maybe it's something that you need to forgive for you because forgiveness is not for the other person right like forgiveness is actually somewhat selfish i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna lie for me because it's for you it's for you you forgive for you because when you sit down and you're being unforgiving unforgiving you block your blessings you become stagnant you become a stalemate right you're stuck right so you gotta forgive you gotta have compassion you gotta have to gain control of your emotions <laughs> maybe that's what the chariot represents you need to gain control of those emotions right so yeah this is our pick a pile if any one of these piles resonated with you please go ahead and hit the like button for me okay share it um don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe so that you will have notifications for the next video to come. Um, thank you all for coming and um, being here with me. Sassy is magical. Yeah, I'm sitting on the floor right now because I like to sit here. I've been in here watching Black Lightning. <laughs> but anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much again for coming back to Sassy is Magical. I wish you guys so much love and positive energy. Bye-bye.